November 30, St. Andrew, Apostle. Andrew, like his brother Simon Peter, was a fisherman. He became a disciple of the great St. John the Baptist. But when John pointed to Jesus and said, Behold the Lamb of God, Andrew understood that Jesus was greater. At once he left John to follow the divine master. Jesus knew that Andrew was walking behind him, and turning back, he asked, What do you seek? When Andrew answered that he would like to know where Jesus dwelt, our Lord replied, Come and see. Andrew had only been a little time with Jesus when he realized that this was truly the Messiah. From then on, he decided to follow Jesus. Andrew was thus the first disciple of Christ. Next, Andrew brought his brother, Simon, to Jesus, and Jesus received him, too, as his disciple. At first, the two brothers continued to carry on their fishing trade and family affairs, but later the Lord called them to stay with him all the time. He promised to make them fishers of men, and this time they left their nets for good. It is believed that after our Lord ascended into heaven, St. Andrew went to Greece to preach the gospel. He is said to have been put to death on a cross to which he was tied, not nailed. He lived two days in that state of suffering, still preaching to the people who gathered around their beloved apostle. Two countries have chosen St. Andrew as their patron, Russia and Scotland. When St. Andrew saw the cross on which he was to die, he exclaimed, O good cross, made beautiful by Christ's body, you are welcome. Today I will remember the words of our Lord. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. <laughs>